And in our top business story today, banks in the UA have very good liquidity. That's according to the UA central bank governor off the back of the huge amount of certificates of deposit held within the central bank. Mr. Al Mansouri made the announcement on the sidelines of an Arab finance minister's event over in the capital, stating that he did not believe that there is any pressure on the dirham and that any volatility seen in the forwards market has been limited. He added that the UA would also follow any rise in interest rates in the United States with an, in, an increase in its own key interest rate, with the dirham continue to be pegged to the US dollar. He stated that the outlook for the country's banking sector is improving after a difficult start to the year, aided by an improvement in oil prices, which hit 50 US dollars per barrel for the first time this year on May the 26th. Business activity in the UA's non-oil private sector grew at a faster rate in May. That's according to a survey published today. The seasonably adjusted Emirates MBD UA Purchasing Managers Index, which covers manufacturing and services, rose to 54 last month from 52.8 in April, with anything above 50 signalling that business is expanding. The index for employment rebounded to 50.4 after dropping to 50, its lowest level since December 2011 in April. Output growth jumped to 59.9 in May from 56.9 points in April, and the growth in new orders rose to 55.8 from 54.6. New export orders also expanded after shrinking the month before. Output prices, however, fell for a seventh straight month, with an input price inflation accelerating. Nearly 200,500 counterfeit products were confiscated in Abu Dhabi, Alain and the Western region in the first quarter of 2016, including auto spare parts, electronic devices, clothes, accessories, beauty products and other items. The Q1 2016 report issued by the Abu Dhabi Department of Economic Development's Abu Dhabi Business revealed that the 247 inspection raids resulted in issuing 1,555 fines against stores and establishments, while seven stores were closed for non-compliance with the Emirates business practice laws and regulations. According to the report, 33,164 field visits were rolled out in Q1, and over the same period, the Commercial Protection Division received 945 complaints from customers and trademark owners about wrong or illegal practices by some businesses, street vendors and others. Khalifa bin Salam Al Mansouri, the ADDED Acting Undersecretary, also noted that during the month of Ramadan, the department will conduct inspection visits to vegetable and fruit markets, livestock markets and other outlets across the three regions of the Emirates in coordination with the Ministry of Economy. The National Bond Savings Index released on Saturday has revealed that more than 50% of Western expats are keen to increase their savings in 2016, compared to 68% of Arab expats and 60% of Emiratis. The Dubai-based Sharia Compliance Savings and Investments Company said that a majority of people surveyed in the country believe that their savings are not adequate for their future, while 34% of savers claim to have saved less than planned. National Bonds said that the survey findings indicate that both nationals and expats are becoming increasingly aware of the importance of saving for a sound future. The results reflect an increasing trend and have been reflected in other similar surveys, including one that was released earlier this year by the Dubai-based Guardian Wealth Management. According to its findings, more than three quarters of the 3,000 people surveyed said that they were saving less than 20% of their monthly income, while a fifth said that they were saving just less than 10%. The income of those surveys ranged from 40,000 to 60,000 dirhams a month. Another survey carried out by finance comparison site compareitforme.com revealed that 53% of respondents said that they do not earn enough money to save. 
The research further indicated that while less than half of UA residents set aside funds from their monthly wage for retirement or emergencies, more than 30% do not save a single dirham, with over 13% admitting that they believe that life was too short. In a statement, National Bond said that its strategy to encourage regular savings in the country is succeeding with its account holders between March the 15th and May the 19th, increasing their savings balance to 3,000 dirhams and above. Indian expats represent the majority of the National Bond's regular savings customers, with over 10,200 increasing their savings in the period, followed by 6,300 UA national customers.